it's 10 a.m. now. I'm gonna check in again with you in a little bit to go more in depth about how I structure my day, but I want to stop in and show you how I use my Notion spread to plan out my freelancing and kind of what I start my day with. I start at 10 a.m. and it's best for me to check all my emails, messages on all services, like if I use Fiverr and Upwork or personal email, things like that. Answer everything. You know, first thing in the morning, people want to hear from you, answer everything. Then I go to Notion and I have this really simple spreadsheet and it's just called freelancing. I have a little couple blueberries. I don't know why. I like blueberries. I have a couple different sections. So I have follow up. This is where I put any potential buyers or new clients that were having some snags. Then I have new clients. So I don't have any new clients right now because everyone is returning. So there's nothing there for me today. Profile updates. I update this post daily, but it's more of like a weekly, monthly thing to get things done. But every day when I check in, I have a good understanding of what is being left behind and what needs to be done. So for profile updates, I need to update the frequently asked questions. I get so many messages about, can you do custom offers? Can you combine these services? How do you plan to do this? Do you have time? And if I can provide those answers right away, people will be more drawn to me. I have to update my portfolio. This is kind of really important for me. People want to see a portfolio before they work with you. That's completely understandable. I have great things to show. I just don't have them organized in a way to show people. So that's my bad. I'm making that a priority to fix. So then I have returning clients. I put all their names or business names in abbreviations just to be professional and respect their privacy. I'm a virtual assistant with one client. I need to work on an email draft and a blog draft. Then I'm doing ads today with a client, regular scheduling. I block out a little bit of time every day to do that. And then when I do the regular scheduling, I also do my daily engagement. Yes, it would be nice to do it all in one day instead of doing it daily. However, it's in my client's best interest. I have a meeting today with a client where we're gonna go over next steps and analytics. The analytics have taken off. I think I finally cracked the code for their niche. So I'm really excited to have this meeting. And then I have to do some pin creation for a client. And then I have finances. So my focus for finances today is to update my budget. And then I have to do financial goals. So the reason I'm prioritizing this today is because I'm getting by but I'm putting in the work where I should be making a lot more. I have experience, I have a portfolio, I have things to show. So in updating my portfolio and making financial goals, this is going to allow me to raise my rates to actually reach those financial goals because I know my goals and I know my rates and they don't line up. So I just need to adjust that for my betterment. And yeah, so that is my really simple spreadsheet, just kind of how I work every day. I have to do some meeting prep now. So I work for Pinterest for this company. I'm basically gonna pull up the stats for the last two weeks, my ideas for the next two weeks, and just like any really successful pins and analytics that I want to show them. So I'm gonna do that. I'm also gonna take my dog out because she likes to bark when I'm in meetings. Waking up in my bed, just to stuck in my head. I'm not even hungover. I wanna call your phone, tell you what you did wrong, then ask it to come so I just got off with a really great client and I have some notes. So I'm gonna add these notes into Notion, either in their private, um, just like client information that I put notes in, which I cannot show you. But that freelancing spread, like my to-dos I just showed you, I can add one thing. So the only thing I can really add that is important this week is to figure out some information about Pinterest tag health. It's basically how you connect your website shop or online shop to your Pinterest to become a verified merchant. And it's it has to do with coding, so it's out of my league. So I just need to do some research into it. It's 11.30. I will give you an idea of how I structured this day and how I plan to spend the rest of it. Every day I focus on four things, and that is school, my master's degree, freelancing, my job, personal projects, YouTube, blog, things like that, things I love and want to be part of my job, and then life. And I put life as like a to-do or a priority because if I do not plan breaks, if I do not plan self-care, if I do not plan 
calling my grandma, I won't do it. And it's just because I get so overwhelmed and caught up. Anyway, so every second Tuesday, I meet with this client and the meeting is at 11. I like to dedicate every second Tuesday or every Tuesday because I know that this is gonna happen the next Tuesday to a heavy freelancing day. I focus on those four things every day of every week. What I focus on more or like how much time something gets changes every day and that's okay. It's really hard to find a work and life balance. I think everyone can relate to that. I wanted to have these routines. I wanted to have a morning routine, a day routine that was so set in stone and structured that I would always be able to get all my work done. It's better for you to accept that every day is different and enjoy that and take the advantages of that than to let it stress you out. Every day looks different and that's perfectly fine. As long as you know what you need to prioritize every day and you figure out which days you can focus on something more, which days you need to focus and go inward, which days you need to work harder, which days you need to study longer. As long as you know throughout your week which day has a bigger focus on what, it's still structure. <laughs> I don't have a routine for what I do, but I do have a routine for when I start work and when I absolutely do not allow myself to work. I've only started this the past three weeks, but it has solved so many problems. Cannot recommend it more, especially if you are someone who is working from home or for yourself and you get to set your own hours. <laughs> oh, it's hard. Sometimes you work just, yeah, anyway. So I wake up 6, 6.30 every morning and I used to get up and freelance, burn myself out, have a mid-morning nap because I did too much in the morning and I didn't want to even journal because I was like, I just used all my energy. I just want to lie down. It just wasn't healthy and it wasn't working. I have this new rule. It really depends on like if you have clients, their time zones, their expectations from you. You have to kind of navigate that and I'm far enough in my freelancing journey now that I can. So I get up 6, 6.30. I do not do any work. No schoolwork, no freelancing until 10 a.m. That is set in stone. That doesn't change. And that has been really good for me because I can get up and relax. I can go to the gym and I'm at the gym panicking about answering emails. I'm not rushing home from the gym because I have work to do. I have so many hours to work out or go to yoga or relax or read or write, make videos. I have so much time that I don't panic because I know that at 10 a.m. I'm gonna start freelancing. I have time that I'm gonna freelance and I know I can get it done. And so I like to start 10, be I don't wanna start in the afternoon because I really think with time zones, I do owe my clients like a morning conversation, get up, get at it. But I also need to have time for myself in the morning. So this just works really good for me. So all morning, I do my own thing. 10 a.m. hits, freelancing. From 10 to 12, strictly freelancing, nothing else. And this is an everyday thing because it gives me time to do regular scheduling and answering emails, which takes about a half hour, an hour. So let's say 10 to 11. Then 11 to 12, I can do any like pin creation, content creation, research, any new clients, videos, unboxing videos, anything I need to make, I do in that hour. Two hours a day, for sure, I work freelancing. And then 12 to 1, I have my lunch. I take Meadow for a walk. You can see, I do have a routine, but it's really flexible in what I do. It's just that I have time blocks. I just don't have something designated for each time block besides freelancing. And then in the afternoon, so let's say 1 to 4. This is where I'm still struggling because I get really tired in the afternoon, so I need to find a healthy balance of like self-care and me time and work time and school time. But basically, I give myself those three hours. I can do whatever I want. So if I have school to do, if I have more freelancing I didn't finish, if I want to film a video, I just kind of time block every 25 minutes and do something or every hour depending on how big the task is. I also do a lot of chores in the afternoon. I would like to start doing chores in the morning. Like when I'm just sat down watching YouTube videos, I could be cleaning the dishes. It would just be something off my list, but I just haven't done that yet. But yeah, so the afternoon is kind of my free-for-all and that changes every day. It lets me take advantage of those three hours. If I need to focus on one thing, I'll focus on one thing. If I want to fit in a couple things, I will. And then in the evenings, again, evenings change because I might go to yoga or I might do something social. I might have a due date coming up, so the evening will be like structured around that. But I usually just fit in like small tasks. I like editing my videos and doing schoolwork in the evenings mostly. That's kind of where I've been but it's open, it all depends. And so I have a couple hours to do that. I'm way less strict in the evenings. I don't like, I just do what I feel like. Sometimes I sit on the couch and do it, just chill, taking my time. At 9 p.m., 
I cut myself off. 9 p.m. It's over. <laughs> it's over. No work past 9 p.m. Listen, I have many times in my life stayed up very late in the night working on things. But what I like in the evenings, I like to relax. I like to play my Switch, sue me. I like to read before bed. I like to watch TV. I like to clean up, make my coffee, you know, get ready for bed. It's just nice to wind down. That's just what works for me. If you can take anything from me explaining how my day works, just know that every day can be different and you can still structure it. And that might mean waking up in the morning or the night before making a plan. It might mean going with the flow for four hours and then having two hours you know you're gonna work on something you have to be open to flexibility within your routine or it's never going to be a sustainable routine i will die on that hill it's 11 30 i'm going to do a little bit more freelancing until 12. i'm gonna take meadow for a walk make some lunch and then see where the afternoon takes us i definitely have more freelancing to do and i'll just show you how i do some of that such a hard time in the afternoon like my motivation just really hits all-time low but I've learned not to guilt or feel bad about that I just rest and I take the rest so it's um it's 1 30 so I'm gonna get back to work and I'll show you what I'm up to and instead of feeling guilty about taking an extra half hour for lunch I'm just going to accept that I did that and keep going now I'm just updating my budget Basically any spending I've done the past couple days because I update my budget regularly when you have bills coming out and then you're spending and you're getting money especially if you have like multiple sources of income it's really easy to lose track so I try to do it every few days I just got some money in because I cashed out on my Fiverr I use a spreadsheet that I made and I'm actually going to revamp it that's one of my December things I'm gonna revamp it for the new year I'm going to make it a resource that anybody can have and make a video on it because I think keeping a budget is so important it can give you a good kick in the butt or a wake-up call when you're overspending and it can also help you catch anything that's wrong so that's very important oh before I take Meadow out I'm gonna clean up a little bit I haven't really cleaned my apartment I'm just sitting in it's not dirt it's just clutter from everything that's like a struggle for working from home like you need to do chores you can see it it's not like something you can do after but you're also working so you have to find like a good balance what i like to do is if i'm looking at a screen for a long time i take my break i watch a youtube video and i clean <laughs> So excited I still have my coat on so like it's weird for me to take Meadow at this time like this is such a random time like usually we take her in the morning lunchtime and then in the evening three o'clock not normal for me to take Meadow but I just wanted to go and I kid you not um, there used to be beavers in our pond so we were just walking and I just thought to myself like I don't know why but I had this feeling beavers are back so I just thought that anyway I get to the other side of the lake and I took some videos, I'll put them here, let's see if we can see it, but there was an otter, and it was so close to us that it got a fright when it saw us, because we didn't see it either, and it splashed down scared meadow, but oh my god, I hope my videos are good, I cannot tell you the joy, like that, that was just serendipity to me, I just, okay, back to work, back to work, back to work, I guess. Oh.
I did a little bit of a declutter, so this is what my desktop screen looks like. I just use a Canva template and I really love Forget Me Not Flowers and that color is part of my brand, it's my inspiration. So that's kind of what I did. And I have a spot for freelancing, a spot for my masters, a spot for personal, which is kind of my personal projects. And then I have a spot for others, which is just other items I need. And in the middle between the Forget Me Not Flowers, I have my Notion and I have a little thing for accomplishments. I'm gonna start putting in, I saw someone say this on TikTok or some app <laughs> that they put a little folder in to kind of lift them when they need it. And I think that's what I need. All the good news, I'm gonna put there. I definitely look tired. I feel really tired. I did have a break after lunch. And I just finished the client work I had to do, so I'm satisfied. But, but, this is the time where I get to choose. Self-care, self-sabotage. And it's 7.30. I don't give up until 9. And I really, really, really need to update my gigs on my portfolio. It's how I'm going to make more money. It's how I'm going to grow as a freelancer. So... I'm going to make myself, in a healthy way, do it. I'll do it in little increments, I'll take little breaks, maybe I'll sit on the couch, I'm gonna watch Stranger Things while I do it, but I'm gonna make sure I finish this little task because it's gonna make a big difference and having it off my list is gonna be so great. Mm -hmm.